today is probably another full day of shopping, but it's currently 11 o'clock, so uh, first food. This lady earlier got really upset at me for recording the food places. Kind of confused on why, but other than that, lunch is really good. I have no intention of buying anything again, so I'm just exploring for the day. This mall actually reminds me of every Asian street market ever. It's just a hodgepodge of random stores filled to the brim with random stuff that are all slightly different but then clustered in one area. Like I literally walked past, I think like four or five stores who just specialize in selling phone cases. All those phone stores you saw, are clustered in this one hallway. I'm in some semi-private area right now because I feel super awkward and uncomfortable filming in here since that lady came and talked to me. It's not that the fact that she came up to me because I'm used to people talking to me about my camera setup and like giving me weird looks because it's pretty big and I do stand out a little bit. It's mainly the hostility that she came with. Usually when I meet or see someone like that, I try to overwhelm them with this insane amount of positivity because more likely than not, they're gonna respond with the same energy you give them. But at the end of the day, that negativity does affect me a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep exploring now. Other than bathrooms, there isn't much on this bottom floor. This store is cool. It only sells lucky cat charms. Look how cute these are. <laughs> the store I was just at doesn't want me to take any videos, but if you're here in Toronto, come to Pacific Mall and go to Broadcast Entertainment. They have so many cool and cute things in there. I'm trying to get to here. Shopping was a lot of fun. It's now 5.30 and I'm heading to go see a high school friend who is studying here at U of T to grab dinner with him. I love riding transit because of how convenient it is, but I have this irrational fear of getting on the wrong train and then getting lost. I have made it to about where I'm supposed to be, but that's only half the battle because my phone's at 2% and I still have yet to find my friend. Let's head on nearby. I am by some like ancient building looking thing. I genuinely thought this was a homeless person. <laughs> I'm just waiting here for my friend to come meet me because I think that's the safer of the two options. If I go and find him, I have a really high chance of getting lost since I'm really unfamiliar with this place. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, oh my this god. is a Oh my god, I'm so hard. <laughs> Are you in Uber? Oh yeah, for Danny? Goodbye Toronto. Funny how this is where I began my journey in Toronto and this is where I'm ending it. The train doesn't arrive for another 20 minutes so that means I have 20 minutes to go explore. It would suck if I missed my train, so I'm heading back now. <laughs> I 
kind of messed up here. I'm still on the train, but my flight's boarding right now, so I have exactly 50 minutes to get through security and get to my terminal. The stress levels are slowly creeping up. Oh my fucking god, am I cutting it close? I literally knew my shit would get flagged in security. Okay, I have 10 minutes till the gate closes. Gentlemen. I made it. This road.